Hi there, this is uh, Srigan Dasari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, typecasting in C. So, the typecasting, uh, the basic meaning of typecasting means converting a, a variable of one type into another. Okay. So, let me launch the ID. So, already I have created a project under the name uh, casting test .c. Casting, uh, casting test and we have a file c file casting uh, cast.c okay so all the uh, so i have typed some uh, code uh, previously here so nothing uh, so the basically as we have discussed uh, type casting means converting uh, one type uh, one variable type to another so there are two types of uh, type casting here okay the one is uh, implicit type casting uh, and another one is uh, explicit type casting okay so so first let us look about uh, here we have taken two total four variables uh, two integer variables and two float uh, variables and we have assigned some value into integer and float and just we have printed those values here we haven't done any nothing uh, much excited until now so let us save and run the program it just displays uh, the integer value and uh, the floating point value here whatever we have uh, assigned uh, to the respective variables so okay to learn about implicit uh, type casting, which is done automatically, uh, let us assign an integer, uh, a float into integer. Okay, so here i2 as an integer. Okay, and uh, we have we have uh, the floating point value assigned into f1, which is 1.2345677. So let us assign this f1 into an integer i2. Okay, float to int conversion. That's what we are doing here. Okay, so we are assigning a floating point uh, value into our uh, integer i2 here. Okay, so if you do if you do so, what happens here is the val the the fraction part of our integer uh, is lost. Okay. To make, uh, so let us see the output now here. Let us just print that uh, integer value i2 is equal to percent t i2 save and run the program. So if you observe carefully we have assigned a floating point uh, value real constant value which is 1.234567 something into an integer variable which we have taken here in uh, i2 okay uh, integer uh, integer we have taken as i2 so if we do so the fraction part of the integer is truncated and just the decimal part of our floating point value got stored into uh, got stored into the integer okay so here uh, we have lost uh, the fraction part and uh, and then uh, the conversion is done into integer and then uh, the value is stored the decimal part of the uh, floating point uh, constant is stored into the integer okay so in the same way so if you do something like this if you assign uh, a floating point value f2 i mean an integer to float here since uh, f2 is a floating point uh, see if, if you observe here we have taken f2 uh, another floating point variable and we are uh, in this statement we are going to uh, we are trying to in initialize uh, the i1 which is an integer into a float okay so let's have a comment here integer to float conversion which is done implicitly here okay so here if you print the result, uh, you might uh, get more clarity. Slash and slash thing. F2 is equal to percent F. F2. Okay. Save and run the program. So now if you observe carefully, here we have taken an integer i1. So i1, since i1 is an integer here. Since i1 is an integer, we are assigning that integer into a floating point variable which is f2. So if you see the output, 
the integer is automatically converted into a floating point uh, variable and then it gets printed okay so since we don't uh, have a point uh, zero 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 like floating point notation in the previous uh, value of our integer okay now our integer is converted into float since uh, implicitly by when you are assigning integer into float okay so in this way uh, the automatic uh, conversion uh, is done through assignment uh, or implicit uh, type casting we can achieve okay so in the same way you can if you take another example here so if you say something like this i2 is equal to some 22 by 7 okay so if you say something like this and if you print uh, the result of i2 slash and slash to i2 is equal to percent uh, t since it's an integer i2 okay save and run the program you get 3 okay but this is not the expected result here okay so 3 is not expected result so if you open your calculator here and you do that same uh, uh, calculation 22 by 7 you get a huge value okay huge floating point value but unfortunately we are not uh, uh, getting that value even though we do the same calculation here so this is because so both uh, both are integers here okay so integers integer division okay which leads to the result integer div division leads to uh, leads to integer okay but not the floating point uh, value which you are getting through your uh, calculator here 22 by 7 which is a double value actually okay so if you want to achieve uh, uh, this kind of floating point notation in your uh, division you might uh, take a step here like this something like this uh, if you say i2 is equal to 22 by 7 point 0 okay so here you are making a integer and floating floating point leads to integer and floating point uh, division floating point division okay so integer and floating point division leads to floating point value okay leads to floating point okay so this is uh, another kind of implicit uh, automatic conversion in C okay it depends upon the types used in expression okay so even though you say like this you might you might not get the expected result here okay you might not get the expected result okay so if you save and run the program here again you get three only okay wait a minute we have a small bug here <laughs> we have fixed skip the semicolon save and run the program again you get the three here okay again you get three here okay so uh, the reason because uh, if you observe the output even though you are uh, uh, doing a floating point uh, division i mean integer and floating point division you get the result as an integer that's because here uh, whatever the result you obtained uh, whatever the result you obtain uh, the floating point result is again getting truncated here since uh, you are assigning that floating point to an integer here if you observe i2 as an integer okay so so now to to obtain the exact result if you do the calculation like this if you assign that same result into a floating point value and now if you print uh, your result okay Now, if you print the result here, you get the exact uh, uh, exact uh, value, okay, the more accurate value, which is a floating point uh, value of a pi, 22 by 7, okay. So, uh, so, this is the way the typecasting works uh, implicitly in C, okay. So, we have seen uh, some examples of how we are uh, achieving uh, the implicit conversion in C, okay. When, for when, uh, when you are assigning a floating point or double value into a, a smaller uh, 
uh, a smaller width uh, type which is called narrowing okay you are uh, narrowing the range of that uh, uh, assigned type okay so in that way you might lose your uh, results okay as we have uh, done here since uh, f1 is equal to 1.23456 then you are assigning f1 into an integer here in i2 okay so you get uh, you lost the a fraction part and just to get the, the integer assigned and the same way when you assign a, a floating point an integer to a floating point it's got widened and your int is automatically converted into a float okay so in the same way when you are doing division uh, or some type or some kind of arithmetic uh, calculations in uh, an expressions if the both the values were integer you obtain the value as integer only again you are, you lo you get lost to with your uh, fraction part so even though uh, we have made a change here even though you take either of the one as a floating point and do the calculation again when you are assigning that uh, the resultant into an integer again you will get lose the fraction part so finally we have achieved our uh, accurate result by assigning that uh, floating point result into a uh, floating point uh, float variable and then we got uh, the same result as we are obtaining uh, uh, as we obtain the actual calculated accurate value okay so in this way the implicit conversions uh, typecasting implicit typecasting works in c okay see you in the next lesson goodbye